On the other hand, though, I, I'm sure the organizers know, have forgotten more about anime than we'll ever learn, but, you know, the chief medical health officers, right across the board, they said, you don't have to do this anymore, and we've been told to follow the science, so whose science are we following right now? Is this going to be on YouTube? Yes. Um, Jen, are you okay being interviewed, or would you like to leave? I think we'd like to leave. Oh, okay then. Sorry, I didn't mean to trigger you or anything. Hmm. <laughs> what did I say? Holy nightmare! Holy soy boy! Holy Frankenstein! David Menzies for Rebel News here at the Toronto Congress Centre and holy haberdashery, I am dressed as none other than Robin. I know what you're thinking, folks. Green pants, red tunic, yellow cape. Say it loud, say it proud. But the reason why I'm dressed like this is to blend in with the crowd here at Anime North here in Toronto. And uh, the real reason, though, we are here is that the conference was cancelled the last two years, uh, being because of COVID-19, of course, but it's almost as though we're still in the early days of COVID when it comes to Anime North. They have a super strict COVID-19 policy, which is to say, if you want to get into the Toronto Congress Centre, you have to be at least double jabbed. And when it comes to the masking, wow, uh, this is amazing. Uh, all attendees must wear an acceptable mask at all times and that means a disposable medical mask or respirator which covers the nose, mouth and chin. Cloth masks will not be considered acceptable on their own but they may be acceptable if worn for decorative purposes over the other mask. And acceptable masks must not contain holes, mesh, valves or similar openings that would inhibit their protective function. Oh, but wait, there's more. Cosplay masks will generally not be acceptable on their own. E.g. Gundam head, Stormtrooper helmet, mascot head. You see, attendees wearing those masks, which when you think of it, are more protective than a non-medical mask. Well, they'll be asked to unmask to make sure that they're wearing an additional mask <laughs> under their cosplay mask. You know, I'm wondering if there's gonna be paramedics on duty. Uh, I can see a bunch of people passing out in this sweltering uh, summer heat. And it goes on, folks, it's unbelievable. Um, when it comes to eating and drinking, well, you can buy food inside, but you can't eat it inside. You gotta go outside or back to your hotel room. And if you're having a drink, um, you must be drinking it immediately. You can't hold a drink in your hand and uh, just stand there unmasked. You'll be asked to mask up or leave the premises. And it's kind of funny, isn't it? We've been told for the last couple of years, follow the science. Well, all the medical health necromancers, they're saying we don't need a Vax Pass to go to a Blue Jays game where there might be 50,000 in attendance. Well, the mask mandate in Ontario ended on March the 21st. So why is it that Toronto Anime North, it's, it's like the beginning of COVID when we didn't know anything. Why are they so super strict? Let's go ask the attendees what they have to say about these oppressive COVID policies. What brings you out to Anime North? It's the first con in a long time. Some cosplay and oh, stuff. Oh, is that right? Yeah. Hey, who are you supposed to be, by the way? I'm Lucy from Fairy Tale. Oh, fantastic. And yourself? Aruka from Soul Eater. Uh, we haven't been out in two years, and okay. some fun to do. Okay. I've never been to Anime North at all. I've never been to an anime convention, so I really wanted to come this year. Um, the energy. <laughs> oh, the energy? Yeah. A lot of uh, good vibes here? Yeah, yeah. of course. Yeah. Okay. We're just fans, and I uh, just like to, I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Uh, just the hot weather. Oh, the hot weather? Okay. <laughs> Looks like a place to get hotter rather than get cooler with the lineups. Uh, happiness. Happiness. Are you happy right now? Kind of. I'm very hot. So. To celebrate anime. <laughs> oh, is that right? You're a big fan? Big fan. Okay. I know that costume. It's a beauty. Napoleon Dynamite, yes. right? Okay, then. We love going. We've been going every year since 2014. Oh, okay then. Yeah. And um, I got to tell you, this is a, an incredible costume. What is this supposed to be? Well, as you know, I'm a character from Among Us, and right now we're trying to find the intruder. Now, this is very interesting. Um, according to the rules, when you're in a line, 
you must be wearing your mask. But apparently, according to one gentleman, this line, which is, I guess, a supplementary line, you can go mask free. It's only when you get closer to the line near the doors, which still stretches for about half a kilometer, that you have to mask up. So I guess the, the Wuhan virus will affect you there, but it won't affect you here. Is that science or weird science? Canadians know the national anthem. They stand in silence to remember those who died for this country. But not every Canadian knows their rights and freedoms. The Freedom Passport will change that. It looks and feels like a Canadian passport, but contains the Canadian Charter of Rights and Freedoms in a portable, easy to read format. The Freedom Passport. Order one for yourself and for all the freedom lovers that you love at freedompassport.ca. We're also asking people, guys, what do you think of the super strict COVID-19 policies in place? The idea that you have to be double jabbed, the idea that you have to wear a mask at all times. Do you think that's uh, an overreaction given that these mandates have been eased across the province in recent months? No, I think it's logical considering the amount of people. Okay. I, th I think it's appropriate. Nope, it should be higher if anything. Oh, it should be higher? Yep. Okay then, so <laughs> even more than double vax, it should be like the booster and the second booster maybe? I think the vaccines and the mask is just fine. Okay, uh, if anything, us what we did is we tried to like make it a bit decorative and just blend in with it. Oh, okay then. I think it's fine. It's, they're just trying to keep us safe, so I don't see a problem with it. Okay then. Yeah. And yourself, man? No comment. I want to speak on behalf of myself. I don't represent Anime North. Sure. Uh, and truthfully, I really have no opinion. Um, okay. I'm already vaccinated, so it doesn't really affect me as much. But uh, I do understand some people choose not to have uh, vaccinations. But, you know, it's up to them. If they want to partake of this con, you have to follow the rules of the con. Uh, no, not necessarily. I think people have had enough time at this point where if you were going to do it, you've already had a chance to. And as someone who had COVID a few months ago, like, it's nasty. And if I can avoid getting that again, like, that's a bonus. Um, well, I, I think it's reasonable, honestly. Um, if it's for people's protection, then... When I'm indoors, I'm okay with knowing that I'm vaccinated and others are vaccinated and that we're masked. Um, it is quite crowded. Like, it's very crowded. I don't know if you've been to previous uh, conventions. It's very crowded in there. So I'm all right with those regulations. I have people I also want to protect, so we're fine with that. But I think it's just uh, when, uh, when it just be stops uh, being the norm, when people are used to it, it'll, it'll calm everything down. Um, with the COVID stuff, I mean, I'm not sure how bad it is right now. I think it's okay to have your mask inside, but I think maybe it's a bit much right now with how it is everything. I think they're asking for just a little bit much, but I'm okay with wearing my mask. I'm not having a problem with it. Oh, I had no idea about that. Yeah, no, I don't have a paper mask underneath. Oh, yeah. no. No. Uh -oh. I hope you're not going to be uh, expelled. Yeah, well, she I don't has, know. She has a gator, so I don't know if that Yeah, I, I have another mask in my pocket, too, oh, so hopefully okay, that's going to be effective enough. They're, they're not... <laughs> It, it seems like an overreaction right now based yeah. on, like, if I can go to the mall and I can go to the movie theater and I can go to the grocery store, why well, can't? What is the difference here? Well, it's not dropped in medical centers and this is like a record amount of people, so yeah, this is a huge amount I of think people. it's safe. Yeah, so I think it's, it's pretty reasonable. Like, I don't mind, it doesn't bother me. Yeah. Um, I don't know yet. I think it's best to stay safe until we know for sure. Okay. Uh, we've seen a lot of, like, re outbreaks that have put a lot of people in the hospital and whether or not uh, what we're doing is actually as effective as it could be. Uh, I think that trying to have the mindset of helping people and not getting more people sick is what you should be doing. Alex, like, so every t you're running a large closed event, you're taking responsibility for it. Okay. That's up to them what they want to do with it. <laughs> okay. Now, you know, one of the reasons we're here, guys, is that we're asking people what they think about the super strict COVID-19 rules. You know, you got to be masks, you got to have at least two uh, vac shots. And I'm looking at this costume, this is pretty much a hazmat suit. Uh, and yet they're going to require you to have an additional mask on under that? Yeah, probably. They probably will. <laughs> wow. What do you think about that? Is that an overreaction? Well, I understand because with COVID going on, we're going to have to take the proper precautions. I know I'm in this suit, I'm wearing this mask, but we have to stay safe. <laughs> yeah. If we're supposed to follow the science, 
Why do the Anime North people think they know more than the chief medical health officers? They have to cater to their uh, their political groups, right? You know what? You might be onto something. Um, almost everyone we've interviewed so far is on side with the strict policy. It's part of the, the genre attracts that sort of. Is that right? Yeah. Why is that? Explain that to me. I don't know. <laughs> I grew up. I grew up in the same genres as everybody else. I don't know why. Oh, okay. It just seems to have taken over this sort of environment. So, do you think it's a matter of people have been indoctrinated? Could be. Could be. I'm not really good with the political opinions, but uh, yeah, could be. <laughs> I mean, I work in the hospital. Actually, I'm uh, one of the ICU nurses. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. Okay then. Yeah. Um, but in terms of. Uh, you know, the, the vaccine and the masks that we have to wear here, it's, it is a bit overboard, I think, yeah. Okay, but what about yourself, ma'am? I mean, like, if we look at the mask and vax mandates across the province to go into a mall, a theater, a sports stadium, you, you don't need masks, you don't need to be double vax. Do you think it's an overreaction for the organizers to ask for that of attendees here? It's a bit, it's a bit of a double-edged sword, I have to say. As someone who had COVID and has uh, lasting symptoms from that, oh. I understand why they're doing it. And I would, if it helps to reduce the risk for anyone, I'm good with that, and I'm happy to comply. You know. You know, but I, I, on the other hand, though. I, I'm sure the organizers know, have forgotten more about anime than we'll ever learn, but. You know, the chief medical health officers, right across the board, they said, you don't have to do this anymore. And we've been told to follow the science. So whose science are we following right now? Is this going to be on YouTube? Yes. Um, Jen, are you okay being interviewed? Or would you like to leave? I think, be better off leave. I think we'd like to leave. Oh, okay then. Sorry, I didn't mean to trigger you or anything. Hmm. <laughs> what did I say? I don't think an overreaction. I think they have to do what they have to do to keep the event going. But uh, you know what? If we're sweaty, then at least we're safe. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> is, is sweat a defense against COVID? <laughs> no, I guess. I mean, I'm not upset with to wear a mask. It's just that and we went to a different convention where we didn't have to. So I'm like, oh, okay. I mean, if they really want me to, I will. I'm not complaining. It's just that, you know, I thought at this point we didn't have to, but I'm okay. Well, there you have it, folks. With the exception of two people we interviewed, Everybody, it would seem, that's here at Enemy North is completely on side with the masking and the vaxxing rules, even though the chief medical health officers in our great dominion say, you don't have to follow those rules anymore. All I've got to say when it comes to the organizers is holy power trip. And when it comes to the attendees, holy indoctrination. For Rebel News, I'm David the Menzoid Menzies. Hey folks, have you been to the Rebel News store lately? Well, you should. The number one hit of the summer is our Justin Castro t-shirt. That's the one that has half of Justin Trudeau's face and the other half is Fidel Castro's face. You know what the rumors suggest. I got to tell you, the resemblance is uncanny. Say, do you think maybe that's why Justin Trudeau went out and got that Jim Carrey Dumb and Dumber haircut the other day to, you know, downplay the resemblance? Yeah, I think we can take credit for that. In any event, if you want more than one, what a promotion we're running. Type in the promo code SUMMER, that's SUMMER, buy two unisex t-shirts, get the third one for free. So come on, strike a fashionable pose this summer and tell Justin Trudeau what you really think about his potential DNA.